The Public Protector's preliminary report directing APSA Bank to pay an apartheid-era debt is gaining traction. In the latest, the ANC Women's League has called for a full investigation into the alleged theft of billions of rand during apartheid. ANC Women's League Secretary General Amir Ho Matuba has said that they would call on President Jacob Zuma to launch an inquiry into the matter. Media reports on the provisional findings say APSA may have to pay 2.25 billion rand for an unlawful apartheid-era bank bailout. In the leaked report, APSA is implicated for benefiting from a 1.5 billion rand bailout offered to the Bangkok Group of Banks. The bailout is said to have been disguised as a distressed bank lifeboat. The report was sent to APSA, the South African Reserve Bank, National Treasury and the Presidency. SARB and APSA say they've received the report and will respond within the set time frame. As the Women's League, we will be submitting today to the office of the president because we want him to institute inquiry into CIX report and all other related cases uh, of um, the state resource looting during apartheid era. We view the link of preliminary report as a concerted effort by those who are implicated and beneficiaries to discredit the office of the prote public protector. And we further say that the 2.2 billion, which is suggested, it's an insult to all South Africans. We feel that there should be a full-scale uh, view and what is due must paid, including interest. We feel that APSA must do the correct thing by paying back the money, looking at all legal uh, aspects in terms of that particular transaction. But what they should do is to take responsibility for their own actions. That's what we are advocating for as the ANC Women League. Banking group APSA dismissed the leaked public protector's preliminary report, saying it contains several factual and legal inaccuracies. Regretting the leak, APSA says they will make further submissions to the public protector. The bank denies involvement in any wrongdoing, but for the Black First Land First movement, which pursued the matter with the public protector, it uh, could be a victory. I find it quite interesting that APSA has been aware for a six-year period that um, a report is being, uh, well, an investigation is being undertaken by the public protector and they haven't taken the time to actually furnish her with the right information. So it's quite interesting for them to come back six years down the line and say that oh, there's some additional documentation that the public protector hasn't seen. So the question is why did they never provide it in the first place? APSA seems to be operating in a very interesting economic vacuum where they simply say, feel free to ignore all the events that led up to them being formed and they simply want us to believe that nothing untoward happened. The public protector has made an estimate of around two billion rand as the amount that needs to be paid. That number grossly undervalues what this transaction is. Let us go back to the 1992 transaction and then say you bought all these banks for a particular fee. If this bank op transaction had not been part of it, how much would you have paid? And then the difference between what they would have paid for all the other assets and what they paid for this particular uh, tainted asset is essentially the part of APSA that belongs to the state. So then you might find that if it turns out that if Bancorp made up 10% of APSA's value, it means that 10% of APSA's market capitalization actually belongs to South Africans, and that is what they need to be paying back.